Hello, I'm Bernard Rieke and in this short talk I'd like to question a bit the way we talk about pros and cons of locomotion interfaces in virtual reality. So there's lots of different ways of moving through virtual reality as you all know. So there's lots of continuous locomotion ways but also there's discontinuous one. So here what I'd like to do is basically rethink a bit the way we talk about pros and cons of interfaces at the example of teleportation with this continuous locomotion. So with continuous locomotion, we know there's a finite speed, so it takes time to get anywhere, which is time consuming. So uh, typically it's assumed to be uh, a disadvantage. With teleporting, it's great because it's instantaneous. It's really the dream of any frequent traveler. So yay. However, if you actually want to enjoy the journey, explore or get a new place, then actually suddenly continuous locomotion looks really attractive where this discontinuous locomotion or teleporting does not. So basically it really depends on the goal, what you want to do, whether a feature or an attribute is really an advantage or a disadvantage. So I propose to distinguish between the actual attributes and what they mean. Whether that's a benefit or a disadvantage really depends on your goal. And we have lots of other examples of this here for effort, path integration, and so on. And what I want to really conclude with is that this kind of approach of distinguishing between attributes and also the benefits and disadvantages can be used for just about any system. Because it, whether something is a pro or con really depends on the goal, the desired user experience, the individual preferences, maybe predispositions, the current mood or state of the user, the expectation, the application specific context of scenario, and probably lots of other things. So I propose that this might be a more useful way to think about it. And this way we can actually utilize these attributes depending on the goal. And there's of course a lot more in the actual paper. Thanks for watching.